In section 2.4c, site B plus Delhi, we are going to configure site B call manager to deliver the following globalized calling number to site B phone. HQPSTN line 1 call site B phone by dialing 1972-303-3001. The call will not be answered. Instead, in the missed call, you want the calls to be displayed as a globalized number. When site C PSTN calls site B by dialing 001972303001, the call should not be answered and the missed call should show you the globalized number. For any of this missed call uh, above, the owner of site B phone should be able to press the dial soft key to place the appropriate destination through the site B R2 gateway. Now here is uh, something you want to be careful. It says that if you were to dial back, it should use the R2 gateway, not the cube, not the trunk, not the HQ call manager. So when I try to call back this number, which will conflict with the Teho, so we have to make sure that it is a little bit unique or separately uh, separated from the Teho side. All right, the first thing you want to do is identify as the call coming in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial in from uh, my PSTN. So wrong number I dialed. So from site C, I'm dialing in. As you can see, I can uh, the caller ID, international tag. So that's if you're dialing from site C. On site uh, HQ side, I'm going to dial in. Okay, so this is the HQ, 10 digit number is a national. Now first thing what we want to do, because it's H323 gateway, uh, sometimes the transformation mask or the, sorry, the ISDN number type does not get carried across the um, H225 or H245. So what we have to do for that is to create a translation rule. So we have a translation rule right, right here that says rule one, any number coming in that is national, converted to national. And if it's plant type ISDN, we're gonna keep it ISDN. For international, we're gonna keep it international. And for ISDN, we'll keep it in ISDN. Now this has been applied to a special profile right here, voice translation profile plus, we're changing the calling, calling number, caller ID rather. And then this is going to be applied to my dial pair right here on my dial pair going toward the call manager in this case outgoing plus sign so it's going to add the plus sign uh, sorry not the plus sign it's going to add the number uh, national and the international tag once this is done you want to come to your gateway scroll down until you see make sure the call party transformation CSS is applied which is from previous anyway here the national number we're going to add the plus and if it is international we're going to include the just a plus sign so if it's a national is a plus one for international is a plus now I'm going to create a separate partition and calling source space this partition is called PTANI and a calling source space call site B plus remove plus which contains a PT and a and I what I want to do is as the call coming in you see where it says from 1408 I don't want to see the plus sign there so I'm going to go to transformation calling party transformation pattern uh, if if Color ID include the plus dot exclamation mark partition A and I remove the dot sorry the plus sign once this has been created you want to do is go to the phone scroll down and make sure caller ID and the remote number is set. Go to the second phone, 
we will do the same thing calling party and the remote uh, CSS all right so the phones are done at this stage if I call in you can see call came from 1408 if I go to miss call it came from plus 1408 Okay, so the problem was that the route pattern, the single plus sign, which had used external phone number must check. So that was, that was the reason. So I'm going to double check just to make sure. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a local call, which is a five digit. So the call goes out normally. Okay, so you can see 10 digit, 10 digit number, national, national, so all good. All right, so now what I'm going to do is dial in from, if I go to miss call, there's only one, so I'm going to dial in from the second uh, site C. So as you can see, the call came in but it, on the LCD screen it was 852 without the plus but from the missed call you see the plus sign so if I read if I dial back so when I dial this number back it's going to match this particular uh, rod pattern So when it comes to this route pattern, we're going to remove the plus, same partition and calling source space. We're going to add plus zero zero. Actually, it should be international. And because this is an international call, we're going to send it out as international. Remove the plus pre dot. And is ultimately is going to match again the plus sign that we have here and then we're going to do is send the calls to uh, using a translation call party translation is going to match plus 852 
actually no it's gonna match this don't think we even need this so let me delete that it's gonna match a 011 so let's go and try that there you go call is going through you can see the globalized number it is international 852 and international you can see the color ID, uh, color name as well also passed through. Okay, so just a quick recap. Whenever you're seeing the missed call, this two number there, this number right here is going to match this pattern. This number right here is going to match this pattern once that happened the call goes to route pattern which will match this guy right here which contains pretty much straightforward settings you got your part, uh, partition uh, gateway and that's pretty much it make sure that uh, following is unchecked this is unchecked now as the call goes to this gateway, the call will go through call party transformation, which will match 011 and the long distance pattern. And the call goes out normally. Now again, it's, uh, you wanna make sure that the phone does not see the plus sign. So for that, we, want, uh, we wanna go to the calling party transformation, create a, remove the plus from the ANI and that belongs that goes to the phone right here where it says remote number and the caller ID calls from this phone okay so that pretty much solves the site B task again extremely careful you do have a second pattern so for example uh, if I were to dial If I were to dial, um, let me turn on debugging. If I dial this, it goes through side B. But if I dial 91408525111, it should take the cube. As you can see, side B does not get any data. However, if you go to side HQ, you will see the call came from this phone and it's a local call. So it is extremely important that you distinguish these two pattern so that it does not conflict. This is very easy mistake to make. So that's pretty much it for this uh, section.